of you, all atoms that are food, they give life a little tiny bit. Just some give life a very short while, some are not so good, they might be even the opposite, too hot and so on. But in essence, all atoms give life. And the big point of that is all atoms that are food. And the big point is the chemistry in the atom, which is also the temperature of the atom and the radiation that comes out of the atom when it's inside the, the human body. And uh, yes, the physics is brand new and people have never heard of it before and so on, but a little tiny bit is, uh, is, can be explained. It is supposed to lead into something far greater, but it, it uh, takes a lot more time than people would think. Uh, to explain everything properly and so on. So the creams uh, that I am explaining are a little bit evidence of that. But they are evidence of something million trillion times greater and better that can come in the future. Uh, the creams work simply because they have uh, a lot more energy. Uh, let's say uh, the graphene cream that I explained in earlier shows. The Nevada cream and the graphene cream, their energy is mixed. Therefore, the graphene atom becomes bigger because tons of Nivea energy comes into it. And then the graphene energy goes into the Nivea and they become far, far more enriched and better together. Uh, and they give energy then to the skin. The skin can turn young, uh, let's say in two months of applying it every day. Uh, a hand can be about 20 years old and so on to appear and look and the surface of the skin really to be 20 years old. So that's a little bit of evidence. But uh, the physics can lead into uh, new schools, uh, can lead into new jobs, thousands, millions of new jobs, new industries, new, new many, many things, new a whole food industry that is global for the whole planet. Let's say in the future, a hundred years from now, uh, not enriched food could even be outlawed. Uh, could be a possibility a hundred years from now when people see how great the, the food is uh, eating bad food would simply be Not really allowed anymore from some point of view and uh, But the whole point is people have a simple saying you are what you eat and uh, Scientifically speaking from a point of view 50% uh, Let's say 30% of all food that people eat is made basically 30% from manure, from waste and so on. And then people would observe, you know, why that is like that. And, uh, okay, that's like that just simply because of money and uh, people don't have a better view how to make food yet, but these shows will lead into that and so on. But globally speaking, the whole planet Earth can be enriched. Every field, every animal, every tree, every fruit, uh, can be enriched. Now that's a huge physics that will take years and years just to explain it and many people might Rush into it think they can do this they can do that uh, Some things can be done some things I have explained But the whole physics is it will take years and years of years just to explain it all So it cannot really fit inside one episode one show to be explained and many more are of course needed But the whole planet earth can be enriched uh, the sea and the land and all the animals and so on. People, they might just see things through uh, little, little things uh, that they don't really understand, but they would like to think they understand. This physics takes years and years to properly little tiny bit of it understand. Yes, nobody yet, nobody yet knows it because it's my physics and I invented it, and many of these shows are to lead into really what it is or, or what it can be about and uh, the evidence and so on. But uh, it is a far, far million times more things than, than that, it is, uh, uh, that it is explained. So the whole point of the Lazarus project is actually about the whole earth, about the whole human, human species, about the whole human race and uh, the great things that it can become. Also in today's video, I will explain, show boxing uh, that I do and everything. And what I have uh, seen now from all summer that I have eaten, enriched fruit and uh, the tree of life patent and everything that, uh, that's even strength, movement and uh, hand-eye coordination are like a lot faster and a lot better and so on and so on. 
uh, which I will show a little, little bit later in this video. I concentrate in the videos a little bit about graphene. Now graphene, like I explained, is 100% dark matter, which is right here, dark energy. Dark energy uh, times the speed of darkness squared. That's the fastest speed uh, known uh, so far in, in, uh, in physics that I have discovered. That, that darkness too is an energy and the particle of darkness and how fast it goes and so on. In earlier shows I explained that how fast it goes. But that uh, tiny discovery and that proves that uh, there are things faster than light of course. And, uh, but that shows how we need a physics to go forward and how past physics uh, was great in the past but uh, of course the future is a million times can be better and greater and so on and the more people are stuck in the past the more they do not see the future and how much better it can be and uh, and uh, the, but uh, apart from graphene there are other molecules there are even bigger molecules that have even bigger energy in them that can give life even more. There is a lot of different also, uh, like I have mentioned, eyes, eyes of animals to eat, so on and so on. Those are also atoms that do not waste energy. So they are full, just like they were when, when the animal was born. And uh, is also something, but other uh, atoms waste energy and so on. It is also one way to look at it uh, like the eyes I told are a person can see through which is like it's a kid can be a crystal it's similar to glass that's what cactuses in the desert are made of they scrape off crystals uh, off the off the rocks and that's how cactuses are made that's why you see some cactuses on the inside they are totally clear high moisture and a very big molecule extremely healthy but in the inside they are clear apart from their uh, green skin. So many things in this physics are still secret, millions of things, simply because I have not revealed them yet and I haven't even had time to reveal them. But what I already revealed, let's say like Nivan graphene, graphene in uh, food and so on, that's already billions, trillions worth. And that is correct, uh, I have tested it, eaten it and everything, made the creams and everything and that works and perfectly works well uh, any other physicists would be would be would be flying blind basically if they went into this physics without properly knowing it i know many physicists especially quantum realm and everything they would like love these ideas and they would love to go into it and everything and that's natural and so on but there is a million other things a person needs to know to properly know the whole physics and what it is about and everything. But if many physicists uh, went into it, they would simply be guessing what they are doing and so on. Because they do not know the quantum realm. Let's say I, I have researched the quantum realm for many, many years. I know million things about it uh, and everything and so on. Like let's say the the and the plants, they are just a little part of the quantum realm. But the quantum realm is something huge, hugely bigger. Uh, there is a lot of energy, radiation coming out of Earth, coming out of all matter, and it goes into plants and affects it and so on. So subatomic particles are coming into plants that are not even from plants and tomatoes and food and so on and so on. So it's a very, very big, big field and a very, very big, big physics. This is a totally new physics. And the uh, quantum realm is what is actually very important to know in it. Uh, in my physics, I know the physics of the whole quantum realm. Uh, uh, how energy comes into all atoms, how it comes out of all, all atoms, all explosions, all radiations, all... I call it incoming mass and outgoing, outgoing mass. How they entangle through quantum entanglement, the mass joins and then how it comes out. How that happens in electrons where uh, energies fly between electrons which are, which are secret parts of electricity and then how it comes out at magnetism which gives uh, also many many new possibilities. But the whole physics I really know it correctly. How to make the food, how to make the creams, how to make medicines, uh, like million times better new medicines and so on and so on. Uh, because I have been working for it for years and years. The discovery of dark matter 
like, like graphene is 100% doesn't have any electrons in it and dark matter on earth matter that makes darkness and it's cold and dark that's actually my discovery in my physics that I have discovered and uh, I know all matter is it cold is it hot or is it invisible I know in the nucleus of the of the matter what it what is in it and so on I simply change the temperature I simply burn it or something and I see that in like in five seconds any atom I want what's in the nucleus of the atom itself uh, I can put something in a fridge and I see what parts freeze faster which don't so on and so on so I know the quantum realm and the atoms the energy in the nucleus itself very very well and extremely well how to enrich them all and so those are my discoveries, dark matter in my physics and invisible matter, although people knew that uh, some matter is invisible, that people at least knew a little bit, but not how it goes on and how it's possible in the quantum world. Once, in a, once it's understood, that's actually very, very easy to do that. Uh, all animals do that, they have parts that are similar and so on, that's glass and so on. <sighs> So I started on food and creams and uh, I saw for myself that, uh, that my physics is correct. I saw it, I ate it uh, and I, I felt better, uh, felt younger, felt again, did the skin thing and it looks better, looks younger. And so I saw evidence and I saw it's all correct. And, uh, and I, although I knew for many years uh, of researching, I knew that my physics is correct already. Uh, my books because I have been writing it for 10 years and so on and the quantum realm I know extremely extremely well uh, but that there people can see the huge problem see like let's say the Big Bang Theory uh, they say there was a little tiny point where all the matter was but there is no force in the universe that can squeeze all the matter in a such small point of course to explain easily but they say there was a little point of matter all the matter in the universe was in a little dot it exploded and then they said there was hydrogen and hydrogen cooled down and then hydrogen turned into helium helium into bigger atoms so on and so on but there you can tell that all the scientists are pointing toward just hot matter because number two they have no clue about dark matter uh, or you know you ask scientists what's dark matter they just think oh that's something in space but we have no clue what it is you know that's the big problem in physics today and there, there people can understand the big bang theory you know they say hydrogen turned into helium hydrogen cannot turn into helium hydrogen is hot matter in almost all cases helium is extremely cold matter it can go all the way up to minus 320 so the subatomic energy in helium is uh, totally different than in hydrogen so that means uh, hydrogen can never make helium somebody could take two hydrogen atoms and entangle them into so that they are four to resemble helium the atomic number four i mean but still it's not helium because it does not have the energy of helium in it and that's the whole big better more explanation that's more correct and better Okay. I have been researching the quantum realm for the past 10 years, but not through other people's physics, but through, my, but through my own physics. That's why I know it very well. That's why all the fruit and all the things I have shown during the summer worked out so well and everything. And the food was so, so much better, so much healthier and so on and so on. Uh, that's why the creams that I apply and I show the skin, they are also working out very, very well and so on and so on. Uh, in the quantum realm, the complications are extremely, extremely big. There is a lot of unknown factors that people don't know about, so on and so on. But I know the physics so well because I invented the physics. I invented it, wrote it down, and so on and so on. And of course, my books people can, can examine, read anytime they like. Uh, as far as the physics and learning that physics and so on. Uh, also, one more thing that I have realized uh, is uh, the graphene skin that in the future also another possibility is the more graphene a person has in his skin uh, that can also shield him from radiation uh, from radioactive matter so on and so on in the future also another idea that's very very good but there is a question how much graphene can go into the skin before it turns gray 
because uh, if somebody overdoes it, then he would look gray. He would look like uh, he would look like some other color, not uh, not human skin color, and so on. So this is one equation that might explain, uh, like an attempt to explain the whole quantum realm, that people can understand it, what's going on in it. So the atom, all matter is made up of atoms. Uh, there is uh, cold ones, invisible ones, and hot ones. But cold ones and hot ones, basically. Cold energy uh, and dark energy. Da cold and dark is darkness. Hot and uh, heat, that's light, suns, and so on. So the atom divide is divided by the energy that's in it. And that equals that same atom, which is divided by its mass. So E equals M. But in this case, it's not E C squared, but it's all energies of all matter. To explain like the whole quantum realm and there's many different ones there is invisible ones there is a uh, dark ones that give darkness there is ones that gives light those are the ones that we know of but in the universe could be millions millions of others of course but those are the ones that i have found out that sort of uh, explain the whole quantum realm easily that's easily understood so uh, the atom divided by energy equals that same atom's mass which is divided by its mass. So the energy equals mass, but not times the speed of light, but times these three things. So the energy, which is matter when it's combined and not energy that comes out of matter, is also the mass of the matter itself, which is the weight. And uh, with that equality, the person gets what he gets. Of course, temperature right there is a very important tool to point out. Temperature equals mass times energy and so on. So times a person can get these three things. Times the dark energy, but not dark energy in space. This is dark energy darkness, like a shadow, like shadow right there. That's that energy. That's darkness coming out of my hand and hitting the wall faster than light. That's what it means. So times the person gets dark energy times the speed of darkness squared. Now the speed of darkness, I calculated it to, it's about 30% uh, uh, faster than light. But that's sort of like a guess. So times the person gets dark energy, which is darkness, times the speed of darkness squared, which is faster than light. Then another possibility that a person gets is light, light, L-E, light energy times C squared. That's the speed of light, that's sunlight, and so on and so on. And uh, another possibility that can come from the equality of energy and matter, uh, energy and mass of matter, which is inside the matter, where temperature decides all three, all of these three things, of course. Uh, another possib uh, possibility is invisible matter. Invisible matter, like the ozone layer I mentioned, which has zero energy, therefore. Uh, that's why basically it's uh, sort of easy to understand why something invisible. No energy is coming out of it, so you cannot see it. Uh, in space there is dark matter. Scientists say they cannot detect it because it doesn't shine off any light, so on and so on. But obviously that's dark energy matter. That's dark energy matter in space. It does not shine, doesn't give off a light because it's 100% uh, dark, because when it comes out of a black hole, all the light energy explodes and comes out of, as radiation, and what remains in a black hole is dark energy that cannot explode. Of course, darkness does not explode. And then when matter comes out of a black hole, that's dark matter in space, which comes out as dense, dense, because it went through the process of going into a black hole and coming out of it, Therefore, it's dense, extremely, extremely massive. If you had some in your hand, it would weigh like a million trillion elephants or like a whole mountain, something like that. If you had just a tiny little bit of it in your hand. Uh, uh, so dark energy, dark matter, sorry, in space, that's actually, that's actually the same thing you see there. Like a shadow, that's darkness coming out of matter. So dark matter in space is the same, the same type of energy in an atom, just the mass and the, the, ma the atoms are extremely, extremely tight together, sort of like a neutron star, but a tiny little one, and so on and so on. 
So that is an attempt to explain the whole quantum realm easily to people. So the atom, that's all matter. Some atoms are sticking together, quantum entangled to each other. Some are, some are, some are made of the energy which is dark. Some are made of the energy which is light. Some are made of the energy that they appear see-through or invisible, so on and so on. So those three things are mentioned. But the energy of an atom, regardless of is it invisible, is it light, is it dark, cold, and so on, is always equal to mass. And how much energy is inside the neutrons and protons of the atom, that's always equal to the mass. Because the energy itself in the neutrons and the protons is what gains mass. Empty space cannot gain mass. If two uh, neutron and proton are like this, to each other, and this is empty space, there's just quantum entanglement between them, then they are the ones that have mass. This empty space does not have mass. But when that energy is enriched, that it's bigger, 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 and bigger inside the neutrons, the nucleus of the atom, the neutrons and the protons, then the mass is bigger as well. So then we can immediately easily tell and see uh, which atoms are enriched, healthy, very, very good, and which ones are not. Because the enriched ones will always be heavier and bigger. Uh, but uh, the big problem there, not problem, but the big thing about that is enriched with what? Because if an atom has to be enriched, uh, uh, there has to be a proper chemistry, a proper temperature, chemistry, the color always shows that of atoms, that's how it can be checked out. And uh, that is where the health part is, uh, because the bigger the atom is, it's supposed to be filled with the best things that go well together. Sometimes somebody might put something in, uh, might inside the, the nucleus of the atom, some energy that's going to make it go bad, or it's going to make it rot, or so on and so on. But that is like an easy attempt to, uh, to act, uh, an easy way to explain. Uh, another one of my equations that explain the whole quantum realm matter, quantum realm universe, is incoming mass and outgoing mass. All matter has incoming mass and all matter has outgoing mass. So this is incoming mass, the energy and mass, the energy decides how much incoming mass there is. And then perfectly equal to the incoming mass is always outgoing mass. And these two things, the speed of darkness, speed of light, are outgoing mass, but uh, the incoming mass is what makes the outgoing mass. Then through quantum entanglement in the quantum realm, quantum entanglement between the atoms, between each other, they make outgoing mass and that carries images, colors of the matter, carries energy, darkness, light, radiation, smell, so on and so on and so on. So that would be like an attempt to easily explain the quantum realm that it is understood easily. So, and that explains to people how to enrich uh, food and how to eat the best you know, healthy food that gives life and everything. Uh, that's the atom of food, energy and mass. The weight tells us then how heavy it is, how good it is. And once that atom comes into blood, it's going to irradiate this energy. This is the one that gives life. But also there is a big question uh, uh, with what type of subatomic particles is it going to radiate it. But uh, uh, because some are bigger, some are smaller. Uh, let's, uh, like a person walks onto a field, he smells 10 different flowers. 10 different flowers are 10 different subatomic particles that a person smells from those flowers. So just in one field, there can be this energy in 50 different ways, different sizes of subatomic particles coming out of atoms, which is just smell. So there people can see that it's a little bit more complex, but, uh, and that's like uh, what I did with the graphene tree. Uh, the outgoing energy of the atoms is, uh, I, I attempted to make it like the best, best way possible. And that's why now, uh, like I explained in the video earlier, in boxing and everything, that's why I had like uh, a lot more speed. I could say there, 
uh, that speed and the way I look, uh, and muscles and everything, I did that in one month. Uh, although I did train all my life, but before. Before I did not train, I was very skinny, eight months, uh, about eight months I didn't train. So I came to have that speed and everything in just, uh, in just one month of training. That's why I thought it was so, so, other people it takes like a year or two to be that good and that fast and everything. And especially younger people, older people already can't do that. Bruce Lee had that type of speed, but when he was in his 20s and so on. Uh, so, the important thing to point out there is the dark energy. That's what gives light. Uh, dark, darkness moves at the speed of darkness squared, which is faster than light. But if the subatomic particles are heavier, bigger, but if the subatomic particles are bigger, then they do not move at the speed of darkness, they move at a slower speed. The, the, in the quantum realm, that's also very important to know. If a particle is bigger, it moves at a slower speed. But in the blood, that doesn't matter. Uh, food irradiates uh, energy into the blood and that energy goes into the body. The atoms of the body, and that's what keeps the body young and healthy and so on and so on. So, there we come to understanding what the physics is really about, enrichment of food. The atoms of food, the energy that comes out of them. Because whatever food we eat uh, that goes through the stomach, the stomach breaks it apart into atoms or molecules. Molecules or atoms can go into the blood. Something bigger cannot go into the blood through the stomach. Can, uh, like through a vaccine, it can. But through the stomach, only molecules and uh, atoms go into the blood. But that is because, uh, because the digestive system is made that way to break food apart in that certain way. So the blood uh, is that way that it has atoms and molecules in it. And then the radiation that comes out of those particles out of those atoms and molecules, that's like a plasma in the blood, so to speak. And that's what gives life, basically, to easily explain it. So a form of darkness, moving dark energy, therefore. So there, to move on to the next equation, at the atom is energy equals the size of the mass. So enrichment of atoms gives that the energy comes bigger, 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 and bigger. Therefore, the mass comes bigger, bigger, and bigger. And times that, we get L, life. So the bigger the energy of the atoms of food that are in the blood, that is good chemistry, good chemistry energy, the more it gives life to the human body. That's, it's basically that simple when it's understood through quantum realm understanding. So the bigger the atom is, with of course the best and right energy in it, it will equal its mass, and times that a person gets how long he lives. So the, to explain it like a simple way, the bigger the atoms and molecules in blood are, therefore the more energy they have, like swell up, the more a person lives longer. That's an easy, simple way to explain it from a quantum realm point of view.